Joe Ruffneck. fishing job. This bit, this bit, was recovered from Bertha Rogers number one at a depth of 30,000 feet.
That's a little YouTube thing. All right, check this out. This is the piano store. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to this here boom town. This is Flash Boom Town. And I've got a tall order. I'm bringing electric lights to this oil town. See, us country folk can enjoy life a little more because we'll be able to see in the dark. Now, that's what I'm talking about. So we are in a mock-up, I guess that's called, of Boomtown. Which is something from the oil industry, of course. Look at these tools. Big tools. Big wrenches. Look at that. Monkey bar. It's not a monkey bar, it's a... Uh, what are these things called again? I totally forgot. I used to know, I used to work with him. Nice. Check it out, that's really cool actually. I think it's pretty cool. Detour. Walk around this town. Well, come in here, youngins. I'm Buddy, a lineman for the Rural Electric Administration. Now, don't fret. That just means I'm bringing electricity to this here boom town. Why, it's kind of cool, actually. Um, you know, we're in Kilgore, Texas. There's the Joinerville feed store. A couple of chickens hanging out. Oh, look at that. There's a chicken on top of this bag of feed. In the mud. There's a guy working. It's like the coolest part of the museum so far. It's horsey. Maybe a donkey of some kind. Well, check this out.
over to Dog Town, check out our cameras. This is actually pretty cool. Another vehicle for the oil industry. What is this stuff made of? Just rocks. It's not really mud. It's more of a hard plasticky thing. Sure, what that is.
and see if we can uh
underground in the East Texas oil field. Way, way underground. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Pull him down. Not too far now. That's good. Stop. Just below the grass is Queen City Sand. You can grow watermelons in it or get your car stuck in it. But in other parts of Texas, it's deep underground and sometimes has oil in it. That's your first lesson in petroleum geology. Like I said, here Queen City Sand is on the surface and dry. Except when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> and in Corsicana, it's down deep and may be saturated with oil. Watch the depth gauge. We're going down. Whoa. Whoa, steady as she goes. Down and stop. Under the Queen City is the Recklaw Formation, greenish sand and clay which acts as a seal between the Queen City and the next layer, the Carrizo Sand. Looks like rock to me. Hey, we're moving. Oh, let's not miss the Carrizo Sands. They're important. Why? Because some folks get their water from the Carrizo Sands. Looks pretty dry to me. That's because the water is in the spaces between the grains of sand. You mean like a bucket that's full of marbles but still holds some water? Is that right? Interesting. Let's go on. Next up, the Wilcox. That's a whole group of formations, isn't it? Yes, but this is only a small part of the thick or deep bed that's made up of sandstone, shales, or clays. That kind of bed sounds like poor sleeping. <laughs> hey, this looks like coal. And well, you close, it's late night, a form of coal. They're mining that stuff not far from here. Yeah, yeah. Oil's not the only black gold in East Texas. Let's keep moving. I want to see some oil. Going down. Oh, but let's go slower. I need time to think. First we'll be traveling through the rest of the Wilcox. It's big. I know. And then through hundreds of feet of shale and chalk. Shale is like fine grained clay that is turned to rock. Yes, the fine, we say. Shale is so, so tight. Yes. Shale is so tight that liquids or gases can't easily pass through it. The shale we're passing through was made 45 million years ago. 